MTT is in my mind since I was in. Let's talk about MTech from uh, IFPT. Is valuable according to you now? Plays a role at the time of placement. Should we appear for gate exam? Hello everyone, I am Shyam Swastava, and in this video, I got a chance to talk with Abdul Rahman. Currently, he is pursuing his MTech from IIFPT, Indian Institute of Food Processing Technology. We had a great conversation, starting with the basics of gate, like what is the difference between gate Excel and XE, how to prepare for the gate exam effectively, what is the admission criteria of IIFPT. So this video is full of information. So make sure to watch this video till the end. Check my other videos too. If you like my video, if you like my effort, make sure to hit the subscribe button, press the bell icon. Now here is the podcast, and yes, also like this video. Hello, Abdul sir. How are you? How you are doing? Shreyas, I'm wonderful. Doing really great. And how about you? Yes, yes. I'm also doing great. And you know what? I'm today. I'm super pumped up because this is the first time. I'm covering video related to gate. This is the first time on my YouTube channel. Yeah, and, and I'm and so glad that you are here. Yeah, and for me, okay. I'm really excited to uh, you know interact with my uh, colleagues uh, and uh, sharing my personal experience on how to do great in in your career and, and if something I could assist them into their their career, then it would be an honor for me. Yes, yes. Let's okay. Let's start our conversation with the basics, because see, whenever any student are getting started, they are just started. They they just want to prepare for the gate exam. One thing, as a hurdle, is coming towards them, that they are not able to identify what is the difference between gate Excel, gate XC. So, what is the main difference between gate Excel and XC? Should they go for gate Excel? Should they go for gate XC? Yeah. Uh... It is a uh, somewhat very important question and uh, been very much to our mind when we are starting preparation. Yes, so yes. Gate, Excel, and XC are the two subject stream where food tech is a subject as an option. Okay, because since uh, food tech is not very much developed in our nation, in country, uh, we don't have a separate domain. Okay, so if a student want to appear into food technology paper. He has to go with either engineering sciences that is XC or life sciences that is Excel. So there are uh, the difference in subjects. If you are talking about engineering science XC, maths is compulsory one, and apart from maths, you have subjects like thermodynamics, fluid mechanics, obviously food technology, and polymer mm-hmm. sciences, ocean technology. These are the uh, the optional subject where we have to choose two. The math is compulsory, math and general aptitude is compulsory, and now we have to choose the two. So obviously, okay. we choose first as a food technology, and the second is uh, generally thermodynamics or fluid mechanics. We choose often. Hmm. The another phase is life sciences, obviously, and it has chemistry as a compulsory subject, and obviously general aptitude. And the optional subjects are botany, zoology. Hmm. microbiology and food technology and uh, quite most of the students prefer food technology in a combination with microbiology as they are somewhat associated to each other yes they are familiar because these are the things which is covered in our ug yeah yeah yes so yes, yes. Uh, i think the choice of uh, these two streams is totally based on your interest uh, you could start uh, seeking the syllabus you know you could start exploring uh, what are the things that you already know what are the things you you had a uh, edge and uh, then you you truly progress on to a best way because uh, gate preparation is uh, very much on to the practical applications how you understand the things how you uh, summarize your overall ug studies into that exam so it is very good uh, practice to point out your interest subject of interest okay so but whenever we are opting for excel maybe we are opting for xc college also varies yeah right like let's say let's take an example of iit kharagpur yeah. they are only for excel right xc xc yeah see yes, iit yes, yes. iit accepts 
XC score like IIT Kharagpur and IIT Guwahati, and uh, uh, only one NIT offer to take market is NIT Raudkela. Apart from that, any institute like ICT Mumbai or NIPTEM or Jadavpur University or Tejpur University, they are mm -hmm. common in accepting those XC or Excel score. So that's they are common. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But when we are looking for IIT, we have to opt for, for XC. Yeah. XC. Okay. And what are the other institutes, top institutes that consider gate marks uh, for there, obviously MTech? Yeah, there are institutes mm -hmm. like uh, obviously IIT Kharagpur, IIT Guwahati, mm -hmm. and uh, ICT Mumbai, Niften. Okay. And uh, uh, Tejpur University, that is in Assam. Mm -hmm and uh, so, Jadapu University in Bengal and okay. uh, some uh, uh, universities like uh, Central University of uh, Assam in, in Assam itself, I, I just forgot the region it's, uh, particularly, but it also okay. offer that uh, get candidate for admission. So these are the top institutes that any yeah. student yeah. should consider. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Interesting. So, okay, let's talk about because you are uh, you are from IIFPT. So, let's talk about the admission criteria at IIFPT. If anyone next year, if anyone wants to get admission into this college, what are the things that they have to follow? IIFPT has a separate entrance test for MTech admissions. They have three okay. streams, particularly MTech Food Technology in Food Process Engineering, MTech Food Technology in Food Product Technology, and take food technology in food safety and quality assurance. Okay, so, so they are organizing their own entrance exam. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Just since because of pandemic, it is not possible to conduct exam at their campus. So uh, last okay. year itself, they had conducted exam through online mode, and uh, this mm -hmm. might be uh, in practice for this session also. So uh, there is a separate exam consisting of hundred questions and uh, one hour and uh, there is a separate syllabus for each of the three courses they offer okay so the candidate who want to get uh, admission had to appear for the examination and they also consider ug marks so like uh, okay. 70 percent weightage is given to the entrance examination and the marks you score uh, 70 percent uh, of that mass is taken into consideration and the uh, okay. remaining 30 percent is been mm -hmm. for your undergraduate marks. So if you had a good CGPA, then they will also consider it for admission rank. Okay, okay. So they are considering the UG marks also. And what about the syllabus? Is it same as GATE uh, or different? Not same as GATE. See, GATE has mm -hmm. a broad uh, four classification of food technology subject. Okay, you start with yes, food yes, chemistry. Yes, yes. Next is food mm -hmm. microbiology, food product mm -hmm. technology, and food engineering. So they uh, somehow summarize the things in into four blocks. In IFPT, okay. since the uh, the domains are varied, so mm -hmm. as per different courses, they have some diversified levels. Obviously, some part would be very much similar to GATE, but then also you had to. Uh, somehow get more in depth onto the conceptual questions and practical application of all those technology and related things. That's the difference between both of, both those exams. Okay. okay. See, this was your aim, aim college that yes, I'm preparing for this college. I want to pursue my career and take further career through this college. It is in my mind since I was in first year of my college. Okay okay and uh, the way the research has been carried out uh, the mm -hmm. the way they have uh, emerged as a national institute and uh, mm -hmm. the, the the way they have uh, you know developed themselves is tremendous so it was my uh, okay. sort of dream and uh, you know further going into time uh, time by time it somehow uh, uh, make me that you know if I could able to get a chance to be a part of this college, then it would be great. But okay, so this was uh, dream I was not sure because uh, okay. last year the things were in very much chaos. 
we don't understand uh, the session uh, we don't know how the admission uh, will take place in this uh, covid time so uh, somehow uh, this dream uh, getting me into depression and something like that but uh, as always say that god plans the best plan uh, it came into my life and the result made me so happy and uh, so glad that uh, i i really proud of myself now that uh, i okay. uh, i am able to that's interesting secure such a place okay let's talk about amtech from uh, ifpt is valuable according to you now really really very much valuable and worth because mtech okay. as we all know that is somewhat oriented to research and the infrastructure they offer for research and project work is marvelous there are more than okay. 10 labs and the lab is truly great uh, the fsi referral lab and apl accredited labs are there and uh, mm-hmm. those sophisticated instruments there those very highly advanced instruments are available uh, in every lab okay. and uh, the faculty also have such uh, you know vast expertise and they have a specialization into uh, a modern uh, subject domains in food technology so that really nurtures uh, anyone who want to get okay. the research area okay so according to you we may go for this for yeah. amtech yeah definitely okay okay interesting all right so now any suggestion any suggestion from your side those who are watching this video and they are also preparing for gate any suggestion from your side yeah suggestion is like start from bit by bit don't try to uh, lose your fundamentals and uh, mm-hmm. leave that uh, basic understanding and uh, mm-hmm. uh, try to jump on the advanced level believe me uh, if you follow some simple flow chart like we usually follow in processing of certain things it's it's a step by step okay you can't yes yes of any course step. yes so mm-hmm. uh, preparation every is step important. is important very yes. much same you have to follow the step so uh, for example if you talk about gate hmm. food chemistry so we start with carbs protein fat the basic okay and how uh, they came uh, in our day to day you know eat tables atom and how we consume and uh, what are the general products so this is something if we relate uh, the products with our day to day you know applications and usage then it will surely develop interest okay once the interest is developed you could go in depth you could research you could find out something new very much uh, you know uh, you know recent research is coming on to the fats and carb protein and all but hmm. don't dive uh, into the uh, the peak when we don't have uh, much of the basic understanding so that's mm-hmm. my suggestion totally agree uh, and the gate exam is uh, not very much difficult if you start with the basics and uh, you are focused well mm-hmm. you have a fixed time for preparation then uh, you will truly uh, do uh, great and have a very have great future for sure okay okay and you know what now it is what i'm observing students who just don't want to uh, go for amtech they are not preparing for gate what they are thinking that this is not for them but what i believe what i observed also that gate also plays an important role when we are sitting in the at the time of placement in any company so is that true or it plays a role at the time of placement though we are not interested in amtech but should we appear for gate exam definitely see because uh, as uh, in a layman's language if you uh, take the term gate it stands for graduate aptitude test in engineering okay engineering so it is somewhat uh, a national level test which give a clear proof and a testament that we are graduate student in such and such yes, domain of course yes. so uh, mtech pursuing mtech is a secondary option but if you are get qualified student then uh, there is surely 
a good chance of getting a placement and uh, you know you will truly feel yourself that you had a much confidence if you not appear for gear that would not be with you okay okay so thank you so much abdul sir thank you so much for joining me uh, may you achieve great success so that i may call you once again on my channel <laughs> okay sir okay yeah so this is all about this video if you enjoyed and learned something from this video consider subscribing press the bell icon which is important to get notified whenever i will post a new video stay tuned for my next video till then take care guys bye